In arithmetic encoding, we have four source symbols with probabilities 0 0.5, 0 0.2, 0 0.2 and 0 0.1. In this process, we have to draw a line with upper and lower limits 0 to 1 like this and divide the line segment into four partitions according to the probabilities. First divide it at 0 0.5 then 0 0.2 will be added to 0 0.5 that is 0 0.7 here again 0 0.2 which will give us 0 0.9 and add 0 0.1 to 0 0.9 which will give us 1. Since transmitted symbols are A, B, B and C, that means first A is transmitted. Label the segments as A, B, C, D. Since A is transmitted first, open the lower and the upper limits of A. Mark the points. Now we have to divide this line into four segments according to the probabilities. This can be done first by taking the difference that is upper limit minus lower limit will give us the difference which is 0 0.5. Then this difference is multiplied by the first probability which is 0 0.25 and this will be added to the lower limit which will give us the first partition at point 0 0.25. Again, we have to multiply the difference with next probability which will give us 0 0.1 and this will be added to this 0 0.25 and we will mark the point at 0 0.35 which is the second partition. Again, the difference multiplied by next probability which is 0 0.1 is added to the point will give us the next partition at 0 0.45. And the last step for this opening multiply the difference the next probability add to the last point which will give us this 0 0.50. This is to verify whether our calculations are wrong or right. Since 0 0.50 0 is obtained and also our upper limit was 0 0.50, so our calculations are true. Next, symbol B is transmitted. Here, this segment is A, B, C, D. B, open B with its upper and lower limits. Mark the lower limit and the upper limit. Again, divide the line into four segments according to the probabilities. The first step is calculate the difference upper limit minus lower limit will give us 0 0.10 the difference will be multiplied by the first probability which will give us this will be added to the lower limit which will give us mark the point it would be here the difference again would be multiplied by the next probability which will give us and it would be added to 0 0.30 it would be marked here again the difference multiplied by next probability be added to not here and 
the difference multiplied by next probability will be added to 0 0.34 will give us 0 0.35 hence our calculations are true again B is transmitted this is A B C D open the segment B with its upper and lower limits mark the lower limit here and the upper limit here calculate the difference which is 0 0.02 multiply by first probability will give us add to the lower limit which is 0 0.31 it could be here next the difference will be multiplied by next probability which will give us add to the point here mark it again the difference will be multiplied by next probability which is 0 0.2 be added to this point and it will give mark it here the last step is to verify the calculations difference would be multiplied to next probability which will give us add it with this it will give us 0. 3, 2, and the calculation is true. Next, C is transmitted. A, B, C, D. Take the average of the lower and the upper limit of C. Which will give us 0 0.319. This is the value of B which would be used in the decoding process hope you guys liked the video and please subscribe to our channel